Welcome to lesson 3 in unit 1, the cell, the building unit of living organisms. So the first thing in the lesson we have to remember is that the body consists of systems and each system consists of organs and each organ consists of tissues and each tissue consists of symmetric cells and the symmetric cells is our subject in that lesson so the living organisms are classified according to the number of cells into multicellular living organisms and unicellular living organisms the multicellular consists of more than one cell it's a living organism body that consists of more than one cell like humans or animals or plants the unicellular organism that have one cell only like the bacteria or the yeast fungus like you see in the picture here is the bacteria this one cell is a bacteria and in the yeast fungus one of them is the fungus so it consists of one cell let's study first the multicellular organisms and then the unicellular so human or animal body consists of systems that work integrally to keep the life of a living organism as digestive and respiratory system these are called systems and systems consist of organs like stomach liver heart or the two lungs and the organs consists of similar or different tissues that's a picture of tissues and the tissue consists of symmetric units called cells like in the picture so the building unit of an animal body is the animal cell but the plant body consists of systems like shoot system or root system as you can see in the picture this is the shoot system and this is the root system and this system consists of organs as root stem leaves or the flower as you can see in the picture and the organs consist of similar or different tissues like you see in the picture and the tissues consist of symmetric units called cells and in case of the plant we have the plant cell so the building unit of a plant body is the plant cell let's see the structure of each of these cells first we have the structure of the plant cell as you can see the plant cell consists of first cell wall it surrounds the plant cell from the outside and the function of the wall it supports the plant cell and gives it a definite shape next we have plasma membrane or the cell membrane it is the membrane that surrounds the cytoplasm and its function is controlling the substances that enter or leaves the cell next we have cytoplasm which is a fluid that fills the cell and all the cell components are suspended in it it fills the space inside the cell as you can see all the biological operation of the cell occurs in it any biological operation inside the cell occurs in the cytoplasm next we have the nucleus the nucleus have two important function it regulates the 
biological operations inside the cell regulates means organizes the biological operations it is responsible for the cell division cells divide continuously and the one who is responsible for the cell division is the nucleus next we have the green plastids as you can see there are these green small circles they absorb the sunlight for the plant to make its own food in a process known as photosynthesis. And last part is the sap vacuole, as you can see in the picture. Next we have the structure of the animal cell. As you can see, it kind of looks like a sphere. It has no walls. Plasma membrane is the first part of it which is the membrane that surrounds the cytoplasm its function it controls the substances entering into the cell or leaving it next is the cytoplasm which is a fluid that fills the cell and all the cell components are suspended in it it fills the space inside the cell and all the biological operations of the cell occurs in it Next we have the nucleus. Its functions, it regulates the biological operations inside the cell and like we discussed earlier, regulates means organizes the biological operations inside the cell. It is responsible for the cell division. It has three sap vacuoles. So we can conclude that the cell is the building unit of the living organism's body. And from learning about the plant and animal cell, we learn that the plant cell is characterized than the animal cell by the presence of cell wall and green blastids which is chloroplasts so plant cell has cell wall and green blastids while animal cell doesn't have cell wall or green blastids both animal and plant cells are similar in the presence of plasma membrane cytoplasm and the nucleus the animal cell has an indefinite shape because it has no walls. Thank you for listening. I